Originally founded in 1793 and chartered in 1812 as Hamilton College, this third oldest college in New York State sits on a picturesque 1,300-acre hilltop campus. Named after U.S. statesman Alexander Hamilton, the college has a diverse enrollment of 1,800 American and international students and a worldwide reputation for academic excellence and achievement. As Timothy J. Hicks, Hamilton College's Director of Audiovisual Services and Information Technology Services explains, multimedia video projection is an important part of the advanced IT infrastructure of classrooms and lecture halls, both large and small, at the college. Right when they first started coming out, I mean, we had projectors in classrooms when they only accepted video. Um, we realized that in some of our larger auditoriums that we needed to have it so that the students could see the movies, the VHS tapes. Um, and the very early, you know, we saw every single pixel um, projectors were in our auditoriums. And uh, so that was, you know, early to mid 90s. When I started to really take over the purchasing of the projectors, um, we had several brands and several models of projectors on campus. And I went to our, um, our AV supplier, Visual Technologies, out of Syracuse, New York, and said, I need to see what's the best projector for the best bang for the bucks and um, bring it here so we can see it compared to what we're using right now. And he brought out a Canon projector, and we hooked it up. Um, with a DVI cable compared to the LCD projector we had and brought in our art history professors and that just sealed it right there. The color rendition and the, the deepness of the blacks, the contrast ratio, um, all is part of what sold us on switching over to the projectors. They're controlled by the touch screens on the podium so that they're turned on and turned off and, and all the adjustments can be made, but we don't monitor them from our office. We can log into the touch screen control system through AMX and see that the system's on or off. The Realist WX10 has this uh, amazing amount of inputs on it choices and that's one of the reasons why we, we were really happy to see that come along so that the Blu-ray signal actually is going up on the HDMI cable and giving us truly the highest definition picture possible at this time. As we started to put out the new Canon Realist projectors, uh, faculty quite often would change where they teach because they would know that the higher quality projector is in that room now and uh, would shift. And just recently, uh, as we were finishing a project, uh, the integrator was in there playing a test Blu-ray disc and a professor walked by and heard the sound and, and stuck his head in and literally stood there, watched the movie, asked what was going on and then said, I need to go call the registrar's office and change my class into this room. And these projectors are, you know, for the money, they are a wonderful projector to put in these spaces. You know, you're talking uh, 50, 70, 80 seat classrooms um, and the wide aspect ratio, the quality of the picture, the color rendition, and boy, when you hook up a uh, Blu-ray with that HDMI cable, this, it, this, going in that room to do a test, I want to sit there and watch the whole movie. Our systems are on or available for students to use, so you could actually, I wouldn't be surprised to go in there sometime and find some kids in there with one of their gaming stations plugged into the podium playing with one of these WX10s. They've been wonderful. We've had uh, very few projectors with problems, and uh, the couple that we've had, uh, Canon has replaced them. Um, we, um, uh, we had a couple, when you buy 30 projectors at one time, uh, you, quite often you get a dud, and, um, and there was no question asked. It was, uh, here's a new one. And uh, so they've always been uh, right on top of that with us and uh, very helpful with any problems. And at one point we thought we had a problem with the projectors, and it, turned out to be a problem with uh, a programming issue, not with the projectors, and, uh, but they were very concerned and were calling to make sure everything was working, uh, were right on the ball with the whole thing. They were very concerned that 
we had an issue with our projectors and, um, and uh, it all turned out fine in the end. The Canon Realist projectors are, uh, are very economical projectors um, and you get, you're really getting a good quality uh, product for the dollar. And um, when you're working with limited budgets nowadays, uh, it's, it's very important that you get a projector that will be reliable, that won't break down on you, um, but that is easy to service, clean the filters, uh, uh, and maintain. And we have found that these projectors are just that. Um, very little problems with them, and uh, we're uh, extremely happy, and my technical staff is extremely happy with them. And uh, you need to have the best equipment available to, to attract the best students. And what we're finding is that having these uh, technology-enhanced classrooms and the students are doing their tours, they're excited you know, about what's here and what's available for them. And those projectors that we have out there, and mostly now the WX10s, are, are very exciting. And the students, when they're doing the film courses and film studies, and producing their own films and then going to these rooms and watching them, um, they're just ecstatic.